Hey y'all, I want to talk about how to put your trust in God even after you feel like he has failed you. And I want to talk about this because something happened recently with me. I'm not going to get all into it where I feel like really it's normal for everybody. You'd have situations where you feel like God didn't come through. But I'm going to put some quotes on the screen towards the end. Bible quotes. But the thing is, God says in the Bible, regardless of how we feel, regardless of we don't think we can trust him. God says in the Bible, and like I said, I'm going to put quotes at the end, that we need to trust in him. Like, he knows all. Like, he says in the Bible, he knows basically all. He explains to us that he knows all. And he also explains that he is a God who doesn't change. So, a person who doesn't change means they're perfect. He's perfect in his emotions for people. He feels for you as his child. He loves you more than anybody in this world could love you. He loves you. He loves you a billion times more than how much you might think he loves you. So, it's like knowing that he loves you should allow you to realize that he will not put you in harm's way or put you in a situation that's bad for you everything that you go through it happens for a reason and that's an important thing to know because when we know things happen for a reason it allows us to take stuff out of let stuff not be in our hands no more and it allows us to put it into god's hands it allows us to realize that when we feel like god failed us that he never felt us we know in our heart of hearts that he's the one who knows all. He knows what's best for our goods. And he say in, in the Bible that he have the intentions to love, to care. He is what's good, what's kind. He is a all-powerful God who chose to sacrifice his son to die for your sin. It's crazy to think about it. I saw this quote one time somewhere where it said that you have to really sit there and let it sink in. If it was only you on this planet, Jesus still would have went to the cross and died for just you. That's mind-blowing. When I saw that, that allowed me to have a new take on life. It allowed me to realize that God loves me, me, with an everlasting love. It's not like he just loved, oh, the world. Like, that's something good. But he loves me as an individual, as somebody, a separate being who he made. Somebody who he set me apart from the rest of the world. Me personally. He loves me. He has took out the time to architect, create me, do everything he can to form me in my mother's room to where I'm birthed. And he has given me the love from day one. More love than your mother can love you. Any love in this world, like I said, 10 times more than what you think he loves you. Billions, millions, trillions times more. So the fact that he would have sent his son just to die for you is enough to show that God is not nobody who you can't put your trust in. He is actually the only person who you can really put your full trust in. He is the person that won't ever fail you. Even when it seemed like he is even when it seemed like he might be failing you, he not. That's what's crazy. The worst thing can happen to you. It's times where I didn't sit here and cry my heart out and been hoping for a certain way like even now things are kind of like wishy-washy for me in certain situations in my life but i know when stuff don't go my way or stuff don't go as planned i know god has a purpose for me and i know that from knowing him i know that from reading my bible i know that from confiding in him i know that i have to i have to tell myself this in order to keep my faith strong in God. That's what it is. You need your faith strong in God to realize he knows what's best for you and he will never put you in harm's way. So that's just something for y'all to sit there and really think think about. Like it's food for thought. Like God, I don't have no intentions to harm you. And I'm gonna give y'all a whole bunch of quotes at the end of this because it's something that I struggle with. So I might even be coming back to this video day from now, week from now, however long when when I feel like, oh, I feel like I can't trust in God because it's so many reasons around us. And one thing that I will give y'all to build y'all faith in God is to get to know God, read your Bible, because if you knew him, you would know his intentions for you. So pull out, even if you don't sit there and read the whole Bible, you could look up a certain quote that you come back to and read in the Bible. Even take one of the quotes from the end of this video and use it. it always lets you have the reminder of who God truly is and knowing him will allow you to put your trust in him
because he's a trustworthy source. He's a trustworthy person. So I'm just going to leave that right there. I just feel like giving this because I tried to do this video two weeks ago, but I feel like devil was stopping me. And I just feel like I had to make this. And I know my channel is not really just this, but that's who I am. If y'all don't know, I'm a, I'm a Christian and not just a Christian, but I have a strong relationship. I strive to have a strong relationship with God. I'm going to leave this right here. And yeah, y'all, I hope y'all going to this day, staying pretty, staying blessed, staying kind and staying a little bit ratchet just in case stuff get ugly. And yeah, I love y'all. God most definitely love y'all. And bye y'all.